Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to do a quick video and show you how you can bleed air out of your cooling system. You obviously want to do this every time you replace the coolant or you replace a water pump or a thermostat or you just uh, you know, open up the, your cooling system and introduce air to the system. Uh, it's, uh, it's an important procedure, especially on some makes and models, for example on Hondas in general. If you don't bleed the air properly out of your uh, cooling system, you're going to have idling problems or idle problems. So you want to make sure you do this properly. Okay, one thing you want to make sure is before we start uh, putting coolant in the system and bleeding of any air is that the car is parked on a level ground and also you're doing this on a cold engine. You don't want the hot coolant spraying out at you once you go to open up that uh, radiator cap. So what you want to do next is to get in your car and put your uh, heater control to the max position. Now this is all you have to do if it's a manual like what we have here but if this is on your car this is a digital one just uh, turn the key to the accessory position and just uh, turn your heat to the max. You don't have to turn on the your uh, your blower fan but you want to make sure that your uh, heat settings is to the max. Okay this opens up the, your heater core and helps get any uh, bubbles or air that's trapped in there out. What you want to do is get a funnel and put it over where your radiator cap goes and you know you can use any kind of funnel as long as it's uh, it's the right size and it's airtight, but if you use uh, one of those funnels that sell at the auto parts store, make sure when you go to put the coolant in, you go in slowly so the coolant doesn't come up all the way because since it's not going to be super tight on here, it could fall one way or another. Plus, so once you, the car starts warming up, coolant is going to come back up into the funnel and it's going to, you know, the weight of the coolant might just uh, throw it one to the side. Okay, but this one it comes with these adapters that hold them firm in place and they're also airtight. Most engines, you're gonna be equipped with a bleeder screw for uh, the, your refilling your coolant and getting the air out. And on this engine, which is a 2.2 liter Honda engine, the bleeder screw is gonna be located right here. That guy right there, which is on your uh, thermostat housing. So we're gonna go ahead and unscrew that. We're not gonna remove it completely. We're just gonna loosen it a couple turns, and then we're gonna start filling the system with coolant. And then, once coolant comes pouring out of that, we'll tighten that and then keep on filling with coolant. And this is going to require a 12 millimeter socket. There we go. Just one or one and a half turns is fine. And next we'll start putting coolant in the system and then watching that valve and as soon as coolant starts pouring out of it, we're going to close that bleeder valve, okay? You can actually hear the air that's Escaping this uh, breather valve. All right, here we go. We got some cooling coming out of that. Now it's time to close that valve. Here we go. Next, we're just gonna keep filling the system with coolant until we get some coolant in this funnel. Okay. And once you get some uh, coolant in the reservoir or your funnel, you want to get it in the car and start the engine and just let it idle. What you're going to do next is to just let the engine idle and we're going to wait for it till uh, your temperature gauge reaches its, uh, the operating temperature and also your fans come on and off twice. Okay, and what we're looking for is basically uh, bubbles that are going to be passing through your uh, your cooling system, uh, we're gonna try to get them to go to come out here. Also, what you can do to help the process, uh, to speed up the process, basically grab your upper and uh, lower radiator hoses and just uh, squeeze them. And sometimes this helps uh, get bubble and air out of the system, okay? If you're not using this kind of funnel like this, uh, just basically using one of those funnels you get from your local auto parts store, uh, make sure the coolant level is uh, you start off with the coolant level as low as possible okay so because coolant is going to keep coming out of this as uh, it gets hotter uh, it's gonna the level is going to rise and then if you're using one of those funnels it's going to finally tip with that funnel all over also don't forget to fill up your overflow tank to the proper level there's usually markings on the side that tells you the maximum and uh, minimum level other things you can do is also rev the engine and keep it at let's say 1500 rpms Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes and our thermostat opened and then we got some air bubbles out of here. Uh, we know our thermostat opens when our uh, lower radiator hose, which goes to our thermostat housing, also becomes hot. Before that, before it opens, only your upper radiator hose will get hot. 
because it's closed and it's keeping the coolant in the engine and waiting for the coolant to warm up and help the engine warm up quicker, okay? And then when that opens, the same warm uh, coolant travels through your lower radiator hose back to your radiator where it gets cooler. All right, now we're just basically ra waiting for uh, our radiator fans to kick in on and off twice and we should be done. Okay, I don't know if you can hear it, but I just, uh, our air fans just kicked on. Uh, we got some more air bubbles coming out. Okay, so our radiator fan just came on and off for the second time, but we'll still have some air bubbles working its way out, so we're actually gonna keep running it, but uh, you guys get the idea. You wanna take this funnel off though when the coolant, temp coolant level starts rising too much, okay? So you don't want it to rise a lot and then take out all that coolant. You know, you just wanna wait until it starts rising, but once it starts rising, you wanna take this off and put the radiator cap back on. And there's our radiator fans again.